Le message était euh, le crocodile mangera The signal de la was the crocodile will eat the tough cow. That was a message. From then on, we had to attack the railway lines and the trains. In order to attack the trains, we had to go into the depot. 22 engines were destroyed. Similar attacks helped paralyze German troops moving against the Allied invasions. Facing onslaughts from east and west, and driven back into their own territory, the Germans feared the railways falling into Allied hands. But the Allied forces were fully motorized. The German railways were of little value, except as targets. One of my jobs was to draw up the train timetables, but they were useless now. It was horrible. During the day, there were always ten dive bombers in the air. As soon as a train moved, three or four would attack the locomotive. So they moved at night to avoid them. It was a wonder that they moved at all, but even that wasn't possible near the end. As in the American Civil War and the Great War, railways proved both an asset and a liability. Ideal for deployment and supply, but vulnerable and inflexible in the chaos of war. Railways have a tragic place in the history of modern warfare. They dramatically expanded the ambitions of war makers. They promised quick, decisive victories, but delivered long wars and a scale of destruction and carnage never before experienced. Yet the railways did play a heroic role in confronting Nazi aggression, a role which is enshrined in Soviet folklore. I was taking a train from Unyechi to Bryansk. A station master came up to me and told me to come to the phone. They read the decree to me, and it said that they'd made me a hero of socialist labor. I couldn't believe it, because I was the first woman to have this honor. I was invited to come to Moscow, I was given a new uniform, and we went to the Kremlin to receive our stars. There were 30 people receiving medals, station masters, engine drivers, all of them people who'd worked on the lines at the front. Надеюсь, еще раз о вас услышать. Постараюсь, Михаил. 